da 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 We are recording. Oh, this is so great. We are great. So, hey, everybody. It is the first live stream of July, and the timing is perfect because this weekend is a national holiday. It is an American holiday. Holiday. That's right. It's the 4th of July. And just very quickly, I'm going to explain a little bit. Uh, what, does that, what does that mean? Uh, but before I do that, a little bit of business. A little bit of business um, that I have to share with you. Well, um, for July, I am only going to do two live streams. Two live streams. And that means there's going to be two weeks worth of new videos. But, but, don't worry. For the third week, uh, I'll come up with something uh, to put in for that week. But there won't be a live stream. But there will be video content. It's just that there won't be a live stream for the third week. But there will be a live stream, like, t t today. Ha, hello. And... Next week, there will be a live stream, but for the rest of the month, there will not be because, because uh, I am going to be kind of on vacation and it's a working vacation, uh, or vacation. It's a working vacation um, and uh, I, I kind of have to uh, go and uh, I don't trust my internet while I'm there. So I don't want to promise something and then not be able to do. But the thing is, though, I want you to wish me luck because this this will uh, this trip will really really decide uh, the future of things for me this summer. So it's kind of important. So kind of okay, fingers crossed, knock on wood, and uh, tie your shoes and uh, eat eat breakfast. Um, okay. So um, what's what else is with that? Um, let's see. Um, so. That's business. Then the other thing is, oh, for this stream, there's no game. There's no game. And the reason why there's no game is because, oh, I couldn't find a a 4th of July or, or, or uh, American holiday kind of game that would be good English practice. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of games, a lot of games about America, American themed games. But I, I didn't really trust that they'd be very practical for English use or English practice or learning in, in any way. And, and come on, I mean, <laughs> some games I have played, I don't know how useful they were. And I don't know, for something, a little bit something, you know. But, but honestly, I was stuck for tonight. And uh, and honestly, if I was stuck, then if I just picked a game and just played a game, then you'd just be watching me play a video game. And, and how how interesting is that? Not not very interesting, especially if I was kind of bored, you know, because I was just I was just playing a game that had America in the name of the game. And, and I don't know if that was any good. So I didn't. And so this week, no game next week. Uh, I don't know. Probably there will be a game. Yeah, probably. But just just this week, no game. Um, and so, what are we going to do? We are going to talk about Independence Day in America, the 4th of July. So I'm going to tell you a little history. I'm going to tell you a little history about America. Uh, a long, long, long time ago, America was a colony. It belonged to another country. It belonged to England. And, and at the time, at the time, and Eng England had a king. There were no presidents. Okay? There was no America. Uh, it was a colony and is owned by the king of England. Well, the people who lived in America uh, didn't like the king. And they also wanted their independence. They wanted to be uh, free. So they decided to uh, break away from England and make their own country called the USA. 
and they did. And so the, the day... The day that they decided to tell the king, hey, we quit, was uh, July 4th in the year 1776. So that is why, that is why every year on the 4th of July, we celebrate this announcement, this declaration. That's right. It, there was a letter that the Americans wrote to the King of England that said, we quit. And this letter was called a Declaration of Independence. And there's a copy of it in Washington, D.C. If you go to Washington, D.C. and you go to a museum, you can see a copy of this letter. And it's a kind of a long letter, a very nice handwriting. And on the bottom of the letter, there's lots and lots and lots and lots of people's signatures. Uh, all men. You know, it was the old days. So these men uh, wrote their names, kind of like you know how when you write a when you write a card for someone, you know, happy birthday or happy Mother's Day, you're supposed to write a like nice little message, and then you write your name to show, hey, I wrote this, and it is from me to you. And we do that with the letters too. You're supposed to, when you write a letter to someone, you're supposed to when you finish it say, I love you. Or if you're the king of England, oh, you are so dumb. And then you write your name. Well, that's what they did. With this letter, this special letter called the Declaration of Independence, all the people who helped to write this letter uh, signed their names. So it wasn't just one person. It was many people signed their names. Um, anyway, uh, I'm getting, I'm getting uh, ahead of myself. Anyway, every country has a one national holiday that celebrates, hey, we're America, or hey, we're Canada, or hey, we're France, or hey, we're Korea. You know, every country has a day to celebrate the, their country. And so America does it on the 4th of July. So it's a... It is a historical holiday, and uh, it's kind of a, a national holiday to celebrate the nation, and uh, also kind of kind of a, 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 a culture holiday, kind of, kind of, yeah, because uh, it's a unique holiday compared to other uh, national days in other countries. It really is. It is. Uh, we do we do things. Uh, our own way. Now, what do we do? Well, we do things uh, sort of similar to other countries, but we do it the American way. And what does that mean? Well, let's take a look. Oh, boy. Uh, da, 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 da. I'm singing the national uh, day. <laughs> So the first thing I want to talk about is fireworks. Yeah. What a lot of Americans will do is we'll spend all day just relaxing. It's a very casual day. Not formal at all. Not formal at all. But we will have plans. They're not formal plans. They're, they're very fun plans, but they are all arranged around America, America things. So there might be little league or baseball games. Yeah, no, it's true. And, and sometimes uh, kind of important championships and families will get together and they'll take the day off. They'll clear their plans and they'll get together and they'll have a picnic and they'll watch these little league games. But if they don't, uh, like the teenagers and the young, younger folks, you know, young adults, they, they'll have their own plans. And what they'll do is they might have a picnic in a park at night. Um, and why at night? Well, because if they are in the right place at the right time, and if it and if it's at the right place, it's probably going to be really crowded with a whole bunch of other people too, to to watch fireworks in the sky at night on Fourth of July. Now, why fireworks? Well, it's kind of the custom. 
every big city in America, all over America, will arrange and prepare a fireworks show on the 4th of July. This is kind of the thing we do. However, however, uh, because the last few years, the summers have been very, very hot, and nature has been very, very dry during the summer. The trees are dry, the grass is dry, the forests are very dry, so there's a danger for forest fires. So cities that are near lots of nature are prohibiting fireworks shows and canceling fireworks plants. Now, a lot of people, a lot of families will just have their own fireworks shows. Hey, if my city is not going to have a fireworks show, we're just going to have our own. And in many states in America, it's illegal to buy all kinds of fireworks that you can buy and just use on your own. Not every state. state. Some states, they're illegal because of the fires situation, right? Uh, but, but in other states, it's totally legal. And if, if, you, if you do it anyway, uh, you might get in a lot of trouble. So this year, this for this weekend, a lot of states and a lot of cities, even where it is legal to have fireworks, they've said, oh, you can't buy them and you can't use them because it's dangerous, oh, the fire, fire danger. And uh, let's, let's hope, let's hope that the citizens of those places follow the rules because sometimes... You know, you don't want to be foolish, and, and just because you want to have fun, you know, you don't want to start a fire, and that's not a good idea. That's not a good thing. And so uh, states, some, some cities, you know, very famous cities with, with um, great fireworks shows have canceled this year. Yeah, that's right. They canceled this year, and it's because of the, of the fire danger. That's why. And that's unfortunate. Well, anyway, I hope you get a chance to see a, a, a 4th of July fireworks show because they are kind of cool. And what else? What else is American 4th of July about? Well, it's a, OK. So we did fireworks, but I probably should have made this number one. It's about food, <laughs> food, of course. And I'm talking about barbecues. Now, barbecues are a really big deal in America. No, I'm serious. If you if you have a house in America, you probably have a barbecue grill. And every house in America is going to have a barbecue grill and have a barbecue in their backyard or in their front on the weekend. And maybe not every house every weekend, but every house a few times during the summer. Absolutely. Only real weirdos don't have a barbecue during the summer. And in my family, when I was growing up, <laughs> sometimes we'd have barbecues in the winter. There'd be snow on the ground. And dad would be like, I feel like having some steaks. I feel like having some some uh, uh, sea of grilled seafood. And he, he'd, he would take out the grill outside and we'd fire up the grill and we'd prepare the meat. And then we'd have a grill and it'd be like snowing. It'd be freezing. And it'd be, uh, and it'd be the wintertime. But that's the thing. In America, barbecues are a big deal. And no time are barbecues more important than on the 4th of July. Everywhere all over America, families are having barbecues. And in many city parks, we can have barbecues in the park. Some families will arrange to, they'll bring their grills 
and and their picnic tables and all sorts of things to prepare their meat and the fruit and the vegetables and all the snacks and all the drinks, yeah, and and, and beer and wine and and all and cocktails, uh, and 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 ice cream and desserts, and they'll and they'll bring them to parks, and, and even though their families are doing their barbecues together in the park, other families will like walk over and introduce themselves and share, and they'll share food. They say, "Hey, come over and and, and have a, a something something that we're barbecuing." And, and other families will say, "Hey, come over here." And, and the kids will like uh, play games together and make new friends. And it's really and it's really really cool. And sometimes they do it for so long that it becomes nighttime, and so as it gets dark, it, it, there's no light. So they'll just have the barbecue grills get cold. And while they're waiting for them to get cold, uh, they'll watch they'll watch the fireworks. Yeah, yeah. So, what's the big deal about Independence Day fireworks? Well, they are Independence Day themed. There's you're going to see American flags everywhere, and people are gonna wear America themed clothes. T-shirts saying "Happy Fourth of July" or "America is so great." La la la. You know, that's what they're gonna do. And the food. Now, in the past, it was always American food, hamburgers, hot dogs, and stuff like that. But in some cities, it's a lot more multicultural and international. You're gonna have somebody cooking a uh, vegetarian food, somebody cooking Middle Eastern food, somebody cooking Korean barbecue, along with a hot dog. So there you go. Barbecues. I'm getting really hungry. I just had dinner, and I'm already in my stomach. Is going. Rah, 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 rah. It's so good. I'm so it's so hungry. Um, okay, so there you go. Um, oh, so a quick word about grills. A quick word about grills. Um, in America, we can buy really really small grills. There's kind of a picture of it uh, here. Um, and uh, those are easy to, to, to put, throw in a car and take to a park or the beach or the mountains or something like that. But also we kind of use it in our backyard too. Or we have really, really big grills and we have to connect gas to it and, and we have to, you know, really kind of keep be careful and keep clean uh, when we're not using it and things like and we have smokers and 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 things that turn around and that kind of thing so anyway uh, we uh, we are very creative when it comes to our grill equipment it's really important to us yeah absolutely so if you want an idea of what kind of grills Americans will use go to Costco any Costco and just look for the, the the barbecue grill section of the Costco and you'll see the variety of the stuff Americans will buy to have a barbecue it's pretty crazy but also kind of fun well uh, when we're not doing barbecues uh, and we're living in a city, well, not necessarily a city, you know, towns, big towns will have these too. Very important for a national holiday, especially to celebrate something historic, is to have a parade. Yeah, that's right, a parade. Now, I've lived in other countries, and I've always been surprised by the different kinds of parades each country will have. Some countries, the parades are always about the military. In some countries, it's a mix of, you know, the police showing off their cool cars and their cool motorcycles. And then companies uh, having like a parade float to advertise their branding. But in America, though... It's kind of fun because of the variety, but even with all the variety, it's always America themed. America, America, America. So we'll have floats with the American flag. We'll have floats with a, a ba the local band playing uh, music, celebrating America. We'll have floats with uh, the local high schools, their cheerleader teams, with uh, uh, the red, white, and blue uniforms or something like that. We'll have high school marching bands, uh, and we'll have the mayor 
and his wife um, uh, that will drive in somebody's uh, old classic style car with the top taken down off the car so that they can the mayor and his wife can sit up and wave to the crowds you know and sometimes people will wear America America themed costumes and they'll throw candy at the crowd and it always happens in the middle of the day it always happens in the middle of the day so it's always bright and sunny and, and cheerful and fun I think they're fun I think they're fun but it can get really really crowded it can get really really crowded that is very very true now some a very quick thing about the floats so some floats can be really, really, really complicated. They are special machines that drive these big displays with with robots moving these uh, some kind of action uh, on the on the floats to show some kind of cool story or special effects. Um, that is all telling some unique, unique something unique, you know. Um, or, or they'll be very simple. It's just a truck, and the truck is decorated to look like something. And on the on the truck bed, the flat part of the truck will be like a uh, like a, a bunch of people from like the um, the the local the local uh, chess club, yeah. You know, waving to the crowd, hey, we're the chess club, check us out, yay! Or the Toastmasters, and everybody gives a speech while the truck is driving slowly down, slowly down, slowly down. Yeah, kind of cool, kind of cool. Uh, yeah, and that's what they do. Yeah. <laughs> um, and of course, uh, uh, yeah, like I said, there's bands. Sometimes there's bands that play on these floats. But generally speaking, if there's music, it's the high school marching bands. So if you don't know what that is, you should just look it up. Look it up. It's, it's kind of hard to explain with words. You, you just have to see what it, what it is. Okay. Yeah. Um, okay, so I'm going to keep this picture up. And no, I'm not. I'm going to... throw this up yeah happy fourth of july now i'm not done i'm not done i want to tell you a few interesting facts about america's fourth of july okay so remember when i told you that the declaration of independence was this very very formal letter that the Americans wrote to the King of England saying, oh, we're going to leave and become our own country, blah, 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 blah. Um, and there needed to be signatures. Well, something you have to understand. Um, you know, 500 years ago, you know, kings were the rulers that had all the power. So when the, if the king was ma mad, they would say, hey, you know, hey, Jack Detroit, you're a bad guy. You ha I'm going to kill you. You have to die. And that was totally illegal. So if you made the king mad, he could say, ah, oh, your punishment is you have to die. So when 500 years or 1,000 years ago, when America is born, no, 1776. Well, I don't know. Well, whatever. A long time ago. A long time ago, it, when these Americans declared themselves their own country, basically every name that was signed on this letter was that was the king knew who they were that name whoever that name is they got to die for their their punishment is they had to die that's, that's a big deal and the first person to sign this letter he knew that they all knew that but the first person to sign this letter he wrote his name in the middle of the empty space so everybody could see it. And then he also wrote it as big as he could. So his name was easy to see. Yeah, that's right. I know I'm going to be punished for this. And it's super dangerous for me. But I don't care because I think I'm right. So I'm going to sign my name as big as possible and an easy place for you to see. And that man's name was John Hancock. 
That's right, John Hancock. He is one of the he is one of the people who started America. John Hancock, and because of his signature, any time we say to someone in America, "Hey, sign your name," we sometimes say, "Hey, give me your John Hancock." It means the same thing. So, what else is a cool fact? Oh, another thing is uh, uh, Independence Day. Technically, technically, should have been celebrated either on July second. Because that's when they 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 started signing the letter, or August second. Because that's when people were finished signing the letter and they mailed it to the king. It took a long time. Uh, uh, people were lazy. <laughs> they really were. It wasn't like sending an email. Hey, we're sending an email. Please uh, reply to this email. No, it was, it was like. They were like a really, 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 really lazy. Hey, hey, Jack. Hey, Jack. Um, remember that that really, really important letter we need to send to the king? We really need to get it. We really need to send it out there. Did you sign it yet? Oh, yeah, I think, yeah, I did. Yeah. I think, well, no. I don't really remember. Hey, listen, can you go check to see if my name's on there? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's not there? Oh, yeah, man, you have to hurry up, hurry up, and go over and sign that letter. Like, do it today. Oh, I can't, I can't today, because I have to do a live stream for my students. That's important. I'll do it tomorrow. Oh, I can't do it tomorrow because tomorrow is the weekend. It's 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 a it's Fourth of July. It's a holiday, or or it will be in the future. So I can't do it. Okay, here's something really interesting. In the time, in the time that the Declaration of Independence was signed, the very first Fourth of July, 1776, there were only two million people that lived in all of America. And to be fair, to be fair, it was it was thirteen colonies. They were very, very, very small. Okay, uh, but there's only two million people. Um, there's about that many people just in New York City. Yeah. Um, there's more than that in Los Angeles. So, yeah, crazy, right? Anyway. Uh, oh, here's something. Um, Three of the people who signed the Declaration of Independence became presidents. Okay, hold on with me. And three of those presidents who signed the Declaration of Independence. So think about it. The people who signed the Declaration of Independence, some of them eventually became presidents of the United States. Three of them died on the 4th of July. Now, okay, of course, not th that 4th of July. The 4th of July, like 20 years later, 30 years later, okay? It was, just, it was just enormous coincidence, like huge coincidence. And it's not like they planned on it. Okay, listen, oh man, I don't feel so good. I don't feel good. Oh man, I think I'm gonna die, but I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait. And I'm going to die on the 4th of July. No, that's not how it happened. It was just weird, weird uh, luck. Um, once, once, kind of by accident, uh, the 4th of July was celebrated on the 5th of July. It was celebrated a day late. But you know what? That's okay. That's okay. Do you know why that's okay? Because that is my birthday. Yeah, it's true. My birthday is July 5th, and America's birthday is July 4th. Yeah, and actually, that's really terrible. <laughs> that's really terrible. It's a really bad timing. It's, it's the worst. It's the worst timing. Anyway, so now you know. Once, America's birthday was celebrated on the same day as me once and that would have been even worse to be honest think about it 
Like, what do you want to celebrate? My birthday or America's birthday? Well, 99.999% of Americans celebrate America's birthday. Who, who's Jack Detroit? I don't know. I don't know. Last thing, last thing, is the 4th of July sale. Yep, that's right. <laughs> Nothing is more American than capitalism. Yeah, yeah. On the 4th of July is when uh, Americans like to go shopping. Now, because, because uh, the 4th of July is a holiday, a lot of, a lot of stores, a lot of shops, and, and restaurants too, a lot of restaurants, uh, they'll open up and they'll have like deep, deep, deep discounts like to, and to add extra encouragement for people who they have that day off. Why don't you come and buy something? Come, come on over. Come on over. Come on over. Buy something. Yeah. Um, and if it's a weekend, if it's a weekend, they'll just make it the whole weekend. So really, right now in America, today, tomorrow, and Sunday, third, fourth, no, second, third, and fourth, second, third, and fourth, um, are, uh, there's, uh, there's sales their sales. It's a good time to, to buy new clothes or buy a new TV or something like that. And, and this is a, a, a particularly special holiday sale because for the past year and a half, stores weren't open. No sales. The only sales were online. Yeah, this is the first sale in many American states when people, when customers can actually go to the store. It's the first time in a year and a half people can actually go inside and buy a TV instead of buying it online or buying some clothes or buying flowers or, or, or cake or something for the first time in a year and a half. So it's kind of a big deal. Now, what am I going to do? Well, I am not going to go out. I am not going to go to a picnic. I am not going to have a barbecue. I am not going to go shopping or go to a restaurant or a bar or a club. I'm not going to do any of those things. I'm not even going to go watch the fireworks. I am going to stay home where it's safe. And you don't really know this and it's really not important but um but i'm actually going to be on the internet and visiting my friends who are also online wishing them a happy fourth of july and if i can helping some charities because it's been a really really difficult year for a lot of people and so i want to help some charities and that that also is a very american custom is to use a holiday like the 4th of July celebrating my country's birthday and my birthday by trying to help people who need it more than me. Yeah, and that is a very proud American custom. Well, that's it. That's the live stream for uh, America's 4th of July. So, yeah, and like I said... No game, because the games that I found were kind of boring and didn't really have anything to do with 4th of July. And I didn't want to do something boring and, and, and make you fall asleep. And next week is going to be another live stream. I do have an America-themed uh, stream for next week. And that's going to be it for July, actually. Uh, only two live streams. But don't worry, there's going to be videos. There's going to be content for all three weeks. So don't you worry about that. Uh, so with that, I'm going to say thank you. Good night. And happy 4th of July. And happy birthday, America. Goodbye.